Hi, this is McCoy Buck with WatchMeWork.com, and in this lecture, we're going to be talking about bone dynamics in Moho. So what are bone dynamics? Well, if we go up here to our menu, let's highlight some bones here. So we got our two top ears. I'm going to hit B on the keyboard to select my Select Bone tool, and that's going to pop up my Bone Constraints menu. Let's go ahead and drop that down. And right here, we got bone dynamics. So we got our torque force, our spring force, and our damping force. And this is our bone dynamics. But what is that exactly? Well, let's go ahead and hit play and see what those do. All right, so let's go ahead and drop down our menu again. Okay, so we have our torque force. Our torque is going to be basically controlling movement. And your movement is going to be controlled by the parent bone. And let's go ahead and let's mess with it just to see what it does in real time. So now I'm going to adjust the value. I'm simply going to click and I'm going to scroll my mouse wheel up. Now look at his top two ears. Do you see them getting a lot more floppier, a lot more crazier? Well, again, remember the movement of those ears are being moved and controlled by the movement of the rest of the body. So if I go and I scroll these down and I give it a lower value, you can see his top ears are a lot more stiff. Let's go ahead and set that back to where it was. I think it was around 90. All right, the next one is the spring force. Let's go ahead and hit play. And let's drop down our bone constraints. So let's see what the spring force does. The spring is going to control how far it goes. So how far that rotation of those bouncing back and forth goes. So the lower I have this value, you can see they're just gonna be bouncing everywhere. So I wanna have a higher value because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those extreme movements. So when the movement of the torque force reaches its maximum rotation, it's gonna bounce back to the other side and so on. And that's gonna be the spring force. So when I increase that value, you see it's now not moving all over the place really weird. And if I keep on going really high, you can see it's just bouncing back and forth whenever it hits those extremes, it bounces back to the other extreme, bounces back to the other extreme, and just creates that spring movement. So let's go ahead and let's lower that back down into the three value. So right there, there's a really weird movement. I don't really like that. So I'll probably lower it a little bit more. But I also want when he touches down onto the ground that his ears are going to bounce in front of his face. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. So we got about 80. Okay, so the last value is our damping force. Now the damping force is going to control how long it moves. So let's go ahead and let's just drop that value down to zero. All right, so now we can really see how the damping force works. So think of your damping force and think of damping as this whole movement or this whole character moving through uh, water or through jello or some thick substance. So you see all this crazy movement of his ears. Watch what happens as I increase that damping force. This is gonna control now how long those crazy movements are going to move for. So you can see there's still a lot of pop, but let's go ahead and let's increase this really high up. And I'm gonna keep on going. And you can see what it's doing is it's basically taking that movement and it's just damping it. It's making sure that it's not moving for very long. So when I had my value really low, there was nothing that was controlling it really. And that's actually kind of where we want this type of ear structure to go. So this is actually how I had the character in mind when I originally made and animated him. So that looks pretty good right there. So that is your bone dynamics. So now that we learn how to do this, in the next section, we're going to go ahead and go to this character right here who has no bone dynamics whatsoever, and we're gonna apply it to him. And I'll show you how to do that. I'll see you there.